What up, what up? It's your boy Ram. Your boy Logos. And we are back with a tribute episode to Off the Cuff. And it'll be um for the late great Kevin Samuels. The Godfather. Uh, I think it he ended up passing on uh Cinco de Mayo, I think. Yeah. That's the only reason I remember because it was it was that day specifically. Yeah, it was last Thursday. Yeah. Oh yeah, so it was literally a week ago. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, it was uh couldn't get to it that fast because we had technical difficulties. But yeah. Plus, I don't know. I ain't want us to like try to jump on it for your views or anything like that to like use his death. So it's kind of good to let it marinate. Yeah, because it, it it took a while for people to to confirm it that day because yeah. the day I actually saw it, I remember I sent y'all the message. It was like, yeah, I heard about it. Mm-hmm. I was looking to see if it was true because I know how the internet is. Mm. But it ended up being true and. It was sad, but was what was even sadder was the responses to his death. Yeah, it was really disgusting, especially on Twitter. People like praising his death, taking joy in it, and then they trying to like, um, like attack people or like try to shame people who was fans of his. Talking about some you lost your daddy or like you lost the father that you never had or some some fucked up shit to make them feel like we're weird for being fans of his and being upset about his death. Mm-hmm. And it just shows you how. Like as a race, we were pretty much just we too far gone, cause when when the rappers die, y'all mourn them mm-hmm. like it's no tomorrow. These men have literally facts talked about killing people or talked about what they gonna do to people. And in the hood, if you disrespect the dead, oh, I'ma come see you. I'ma pull up on you. Yeah, like you y'all would defend people who kill people, but a man in a suit telling you how to get your shit together. Mm-hmm. You're celebrating the fact that he's dead. Exactly. This man made himself from like nothing to like a multimillionaire, and he he was talking to men and trying to help men before he was saying anything about women at all. Right. And like you say, we like to call these rappers legends, like XSS Nation or like I don't know who else. But you know, like when people go to jail, or something like that, we like free him or free this or that. We try to make up all these excuses, but when someone does the right thing and they die. But you don't like what they said. They didn't entertain you in a way that made you feel completely comfortable. You're happy about his death. Right. Women, I feel like a lot of women get, they get triggered between the ears. They can, yeah. really, they can really care less if it's something that doesn't affect them in terms of like murder or robbery mm-hmm. or people selling drugs in their community. If it don't affect them yeah, or if it, right. if, it, if it don't apply to them, they let it fly. But when something hits them, <laughs> it, it hit a fucking nerve and that shit like. <laughs> it's almost like those shows where you see people had that one vein wincing out of yeah. the side of their forehead. Just, it's just like bulging and shit. Right. You can just tell they're just angered at just words. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, it just shows you how backwards a lot of these women are. And it's sad to say yeah. most of them are black women. Yeah, that is the sad that's, thing. That's what make it even worse. And they make it seem like he was just attacking black women. Like he just hated black women, even though he had black women on the show every single even day. He literally opened the call, the call up for mostly black women. Yeah. These women called him. Yeah, exactly. It like, they was free to call. They didn't have to come in. He wasn't on the road. He wasn't on, yeah. like, on just out in the street picking up random black women like, hey, man, what do you think you are at 1 through 10? And she gives her <laughs> number and he just psych bitch and just runs off. <laughs> he just says psych bitch. Right. He just no. Like, he actually having conversations with these women. Mm-hmm. And also the thing, too, he would tell, he would ask them first, what do you want out of life? Like marriage, et cetera, et cetera. And then they would say, ask them, what are you doing to get it? And what kind of man you want. Then it will lead into the ratings and right. your size, dress size, et cetera, et cetera, that most women hate it. But the mm-hmm. weird thing is when they will feel insulted, quote unquote, in their heads, they don't feel like that's a challenge. Like, let me improve better than improve my life to get what I want. Yeah, just they just say, good. give me what I want the way I have it because I deserve it so for some unknown reason. Yeah, I hate that word. I deserve. It just, yeah. just shows that you don't, you're not willing to put in no work. Mm-hmm. And you get what you work for. You don't deserve anything. Facts. Because I know people who literally worked their whole life to get where they at, and they never took any days off. I'm like, I can see why you. I can see why they where they are right now because they bust their ass their whole life. And then you got people who just had shit given to them, mm-hmm. and now you see down the line, you know, shit starting to fall apart for them because they don't know how to really get it, get back what they lost because it was given to them. Yeah, they don't exactly. really appreciate it, and now they've built up this appetite for a certain type of man or a certain type of lifestyle Mm -hmm. so where they can't even make it they can't even make it for themselves so now all they want a man for is that that said appetite whether it be traveling the world yeah fine dining 
Like you, it's crazy. I know women who grew up like in Section Eight, like grew up yeah. in the ghetto. They want to go to Athens, I went to Greece, school with, Italy. Yeah, I went to shit. school with these women, and they see these other women on social media traveling, and they want to do the same thing. These influencers, right? And but they don't. They don't have a career. They don't have a job. No stuff. They make money out of getting these women to follow them and somehow become fans of them. But they don't really have any skills or anything like that. But they also understand these women are getting flown out by men. By, by princes by different, and Saudi yeah, Arabia and, and shit. It's by different men. They're not getting yeah. flown out. You know, they try to they they look at the uh the IG couples too. But yeah. they also a lot of these women I can honestly say they don't want to get married. They want to get married later down the line, but early twenties. They want to use their beauty and stuff to, to the max. Yeah, they want to be on the beach taking pictures. They're not trying to build a family. No. They are trying to travel and that is it. And have fun. And yeah, not and be pick up and be free. Gram, be yeah, free, exactly. do hot girl summer. Exactly. It's, it don't even have to be somewhere international. It can just be Miami. Something simple. But as long as they got that ass out, they look good for the gram. Mm-hmm. They can get that, that I guess, nonstop attention. That's all they care for in the early 20s. But I noticed women, once they hit, like, mid to late 30s, then they start to, like, okay, I need to find somebody to settle down with. Like, no, yeah. bitch, it's too late. That's 15 years, but no, 17 years. Kevin would always try to explain, like, yeah. Don't try to don't wait till it's too late to try to want these men who you know bust their asses in their twenties. Like yeah. you was at a party in your twenties, these men was working in their twenties. Yeah, exactly. Or vice versa. If a man want a certain type of woman, it's like, dude, you you put in no work, you overweight, you fat. Mm-hmm. Women had ne- they didn't they didn't have a problem with with that going. Well, that didn't even go viral. Yeah, it did semi, but the the average at best was really like took it off because yeah, because he was doing stuff for years every day. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah, of course, it's not going to blow up. Yeah, he was doing stuff for at least like two or three years before that one clip blew up. Right. He was telling and men to get their money up. Yeah, exactly. Because, but women not on social media more, so they'll share that shit more, right. and they'll say, "Look at this nigga saying all this shit," and they'll get all these angry women to show up and make these like value judgments on his whole character from these one clips. They but they won't go at. back. They won't go back to the all the men's videos, but also the men see what is being shared too, and they're like, "This is some truth in this." They're not saying this is bullshit. You hate women. They're saying, like, nah, this is how I'm feeling for years. And y'all women really do act like this on social media for the past, what, four years minimum. Like, this influencer um, movement has been crazy since we, like, left high school. Especially with this social justice media at the same time, too. Mm-hmm. It's influencing the culture in a way, and that's what he was talking about. Like, you can't say, I deserve certain things, or you sh- I want these certain things. And I'm not going to mess with you until you get at this certain level. You can give me these certain things. And then once I reach that level as a man, then I want to give you the time of day when you're 35, 39, like you were just saying. Like, you, you can't have kids. You, where well, you can have kids. I don't care because we're the same age. I don't yeah. care because I'm 39 and you're 39. Yeah, exactly. It don't matter. What if I want to start a family? Exactly. Yeah, I worked these past 22 years since I graduated high school to get to this point where I could finally afford a family and be happy. So why would I pick someone that's 40-something? You, you, you can't do that. You with me. Yeah, and you I have expectations. I don't care what type of degree you have. Mm-hmm. I don't care about none of that because a lot of y'all... Who have degrees and be busted up. And y'all be going out of out of these countries, out of the out states and getting fucked left and right. I don't care how fine you are. At the yeah. end of the day, I just want to know what were you doing in that time? Which I, I get it, most women aren't gonna tell you that. But yeah. you can kinda of peep game when you realize a lot of these women ain't cooking, a lot of these women ain't cleaning, a lot of these women hygiene that up to date, they just know how to look the part on camera. Yeah. Exactly. Once you actually get into these women's face and start to have a conversation with them, Conversation is not as good as you thought it was. Mm-hmm. Just the person in general that you pictured in your head is not the person that you see on Instagram. And then it goes back to just sex. You know how they say, like, men are pairs, we only want one thing. Well, if you can only offer one thing, which is sex, That's you got no want. personality, you have no knowledge, you have no skills, you have no reason for me to say, let me last with this person for 10, 20, 30 years. For a lifetime. But I can last with you one night because your body look good and you fun if we get a little drunk or a little lit. I can ignore all that stupid right. shit coming out your mouth because I'm finna smash, I'm finna go about my life and not talk to you again because that's all you offer. But hold on, if I because if it was a man and it was reverse, and the man went on a date with a woman but she don't like him, she will still expect him to pay for that fucking date, exactly. even though she don't want to have sex with him. She knows she, she might never be attracted to you. Know how these women have like contacts, foodie pizza calls. hut, subway and shit. They call them foodie calls. <laughs> yeah, they that try to flip the shit. Old oh, man like to do this, or oh, well, we'll just call it, but. You call us. It's and, a booty call. Imagine me trying to build myself up mm-hmm. 
Tr- and trust me, I'll take you on the date. I got the money. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. But don't expect anything less than that. We only, yo, what mm. are we going to do? We're going out to eat. Every time I see you, if I feel like you have really no value of me, we're not experiencing different stuff. Yeah. And if I do, it's just for the bucks. After I get what I want, <laughs> I'm going to push you on to somebody because I have the resources. Yeah. And I would tell you that. I'm not even going to lie to you. Yeah, exactly. like, I don't think we're we, we even close to that point. We're not even on the same page, but I have fun with you. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like that's happening to a lot of women, especially when they start encroaching 30 and they realize, like, oh, shit. There's usually the age where, you know, the eggs start getting less and less. Mm. <laughs> the childbirth is going to get a little harder. They, they can see you starting seeing the wrinkles a little bit more. Right. They got to put on more makeup than they had to a couple of years ago. And now you're doing the race, trying to find you a man. And it's like, no, it don't work like that. Yeah, exactly. Y'all be so quick, and now you end up being a single mother. Yeah, or you, mess you try around. to end up getting the dude caught up, and now he's one of them dudes that's going through red pill rage because you didn't finesse him because he he just looking for a family, you looking for a quick come up, mm-hmm. even vice versa. But a lot of people don't pay attention to that. And one thing I liked about Kevin's show is he always asked you from like he always started like from the beginning, like how old were you, what age, what type of person you were looking for, and then he'll go from there. It was never like. So you turn the camera. God damn! But how? How? What's your What's your dress size? God damn! Like, like, bitch, like, don't say uh, under ten. Kind of know what's at least fifteen. Right. And, <laughs> like and then, he ain't do nothing it, like that. It, it always it was also like a almost like an experiment because you literally would see the woman who go in there who actually said they were tens. Man, you be looking like what the fuck? The point like, of a I mean, ten the ones, the ones who said not. the ones who said like without no hesitation. Like yeah. it was one girl and there's dark skin girl. She wasn't ugly, but she wasn't no fucking ten. Yeah. He was like, "What do you rate yourself in the one through?" Before he could even finish saying ten, she ten, <laughs> and he's like, "Let's be realistic." I'm being realistic, like I'm living in reality, and I'm like, "Ma'am, no, he's trying to explain to her." You do realize a ten is like a model. Like you can try to throw this whole biblical reference, like, "Oh, treasure is hidden." Like, no, you would have been snagged up. Think of it like you a pyramid. Been... <laughs> like the higher <laughs> right. you go up, the numbers is smaller. That's the point. If everybody was a ten, there wouldn't be and a fucking would, ten. And you gotta think about it. It's a lot harder to get to the top. It's, it's yeah, so exactly. easy to get the ones on the side and around because yeah. it's it's so much space. But to get to that one little top, you gotta bust your ass to get there. The word average exists because most, most things are. and most people are average. Right. And there's nothing wrong with being average. And plus depending on what you do, you can decide to be better than what you were just given as a base. You can not be stuck at what eighteen or twenty something when you finish puberty, you right. got to put in the work. But they don't want to do that. They yeah. rather just say, "Give me what I want the way I, I am. am. Take me, take me as I am." Right. And then he, Kevin always made a point to always say, "Like a lot of these women are waiting at the finish line. Y'all yeah, waiting till yes. somebody then bust they ass day in and day out, going to work, building themselves up to the point where they don't have to work those crucial hours no more. Mm-hmm. They can finally take a break and." I guess enjoy the fruits of their labor, yeah. and now you want to come into my life. Ain't no fucking way. You finna see these pictures on these on the gram on Twitter, or whatever. For just real. like, just like you do, you just doing your twenties. I'm pretty sure, like in those scenarios too, that guy probably asked that girl out while he was working to build himself up at least once. Absolutely, especially if they went to high school together. But then once he hit thirty, and like you said, once she started hitting that cliff at thirty five, oh, she a lot more available now. You look mm-hmm. a lot more better, but. Nah. Oh, also, when they was in high school, we was in high school. Well, it's kind of weird because those dudes are like creeps. But when they was like 18, 17 ish, they would get picked up from school by dudes older than us because like, they had money 20s, and days. they had cars. It was sometimes even the guys who used to graduate from the schools that we used to go to. Yeah. And now they're in college and they're picking up the girls and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, hey, I can't get mad. He Chopped got a up car. To the game. He got everything. Like, it's and nothing I can do. Yeah. It's all, a I game can of time. Do, all I can do is. Get in where I fit in with the women who don't really care about cars and shit like that. Exactly. You're honestly doing yourself a favor because those type of women usually end up pregnant and they just like headaches. Or you're just going to get used. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's very often true. Because I've seen scenarios yeah. where dudes were giving rides to girls, like giving girls rides home every day thinking like, oh, I'm going to get some. No, you're dropping her off to her fucking dick appointment. Like, For real. And, and dudes just be so into that they just be thinking what they did they're not thinking like man i'm being used yeah see if see if she really fucking with you you should have asked her for some gas money yeah. <laughs> that's when you really know she was messing with you but we in high school we young so i get it but yeah, we don't know even better. now as we get older you start to see like even um kevin talked about it with this whole only fans thing the type of <laughs> the type of men who who complain about women are the dudes who constantly purchase only fans what are you doing paying for like virtual pictures yeah, exactly. I'm not saying you something wrong with you if you just a knock it till you try it kind of guy. Like you tried it once or twice, but yeah, you are course. consistently 
like, buying photos or talking to a stranger. Yeah, you're messaging them like that's your friend or you're some a shit. Psycho. You're a weirdo. Yeah, it's like you're an incel. Yeah, it's per- this is like, damn, it's it's almost like you going to the strip club every day. Yeah, online, but even worse, you're getting nothing exactly. It's even worse because you, you didn't even get to it feel nothing. Yeah, you, you can't can, touch nothing. Yeah. You can't feel nothing. Yeah, like come on, boy. It's sad. It could be a dude behind the computer. It, 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 exactly. it literally could be her boyfriend or her husband. And, <laughs> and your ass thinks she into you. Of course she like anime and shit. Because that nigga like anime and you talking to the nigga. Exactly. Like, and that's another thing that I, why I appreciated Kevin. Because mm. it was like he always focused on male improvement f- first. Yeah. And then he went to women because he knew he found his market. Yeah. But before that, it was always about, man, you need to be working at least 60 hours a week. Mm-hmm. You need to be getting your smell game, your dress game. Yeah. Up. If you don't, if you were broke, don't even think about women. Like he's all this stuff he's saying, but it's not. Women aren't listening to it because it's not about them. Yeah, exactly. The ones who did listen, those are the ones who are actually looking for husbands and what. They were, okay, so he's saying this stuff about men. I need to be listened to think is this the type of man I want? Yeah, exactly. Just like for us, when he's talking about women, I'm not just. I'm not looking for him to just bash women. When he came up yeah. with the whole. Yeah. Fit, beautiful, and inspirational thing like that, that stuck with me. It's like, yeah. okay, that's the type of woman you want to look for: fit, yeah. feminine, and friendly. Yeah. And it's like, why do y'all only y'all only see the negative because you don't like him? Mm-hmm. This is your first time seeing a man in a suit actually tell you tell it to you like it is with some tough love. But women love David Jackson. They're buying of his course. fucking books. And what did he do? Cheated on his wife. A lot. The same pastors that's trying to like throw shots at Kevin now that he's dead. What are they doing? Trying to get that money. He's the same dudes who have multiple women, then got caught having sex with people in their in, in, the in their ministry, then got women pregnant from yeah, their ministries. This is a joke. And now all of a sudden, y'all still taking advice from these dudes. But they tell y'all what y'all want to hear. Exactly, tell you what I want to hear. That prosperity preaching and mm-hmm. Kevin Sanders talked about him repeatedly, repeatedly on his podcast because he's seen those pastors before he died talk about him. Right, because shit. he always talked about how he was in the church and he realized it was a shift. Yeah. Now you have Christian. Christian feminist women. It's like <laughs> yeah. that doesn't even belong in the same category as Christianity. Exactly. If y'all are really going, to, if you really going by the Bible. Yeah, hell no. Nah. Like now, the, the church is just—you can just tell it's a joke now. They just want—they tell you what you want to hear because they're gonna get that tithe and they're gonna spend that money mm-hmm. on them cars, some houses, on fucking compounds. Shout out to Joel Osteen. The women, <laughs> exactly, and they'll fuck those women too because exactly. my dick will give you all the money God could possibly want to give you. So right. come here, and I'm going to baptize you. And you can even see it in the crowds. Like they'll be on the on the preacher, and they pan to the crowd. It's ninety yeah. percent women. Yeah, it's only a few dudes. If you see the dudes that are with their wives and they're just sitting there like damn i I'm, I'm i'm down bad i need something so they're just in the church everybody's clapping running around it's just straight up women mm-hmm. i'm like these women have babies yeah these women have made some terrible decisions but they're gonna be the ones up in the front row mm-hmm. hooting and hollering like how it was when i was a kid yeah you know what's sad too like they say that kevin samuels bash women especially black women but the thing is he never told, like, his listeners to, like, go out and, like, attack women or nothing like that. He just said, avoid these type of women. Avoid them. Give, get away from them. Do not have sex with them. Do not get in a relationship with them. Do not tie yourself to them at all because they are a cancer. And if you are, you, it must be true if you got offended because he's not literally saying go after them. He's saying get away from them. I feel like, I feel like those women low-key liked his show. They just, yeah. they just knew that <laughs> whenever he said something about women 35 plus, it was going to apply to them. That's when they didn't yeah. like it. When it was time for the women to get on there and get, like, bashed, a lot of them tuned in because that's when they got triggered the most. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're in a generation where being triggered is like a sport. You try to see how how, how much can you get triggered until you just snap almost. Because yeah. a lot of these women who always, oh, he did this, 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 never watched a live stream. It was always the clips they saw on TikTok. Yeah, exactly. And they always short be the most offensive spans. shit that right. they could possibly find to get you pissed so off. Get you'll find the, they'll find the clip where he told a woman you built like a running back. You hit, hit the egg <laughs> like a motherfucker. I almost crashed they'll when I heard that, that shit. video. <laughs> they're not going to talk about the video where he talks about we need to get families back in the house. We need to get mm-hmm. back to moving forward, to changing our ethnic image. Yeah. To our men and women getting on the same page. They don't mm-hmm. never want to share that shit. Exactly. As soon as it's time for the, the shock value stuff. 
y'all can't wait to share that stuff exactly and there was another um part of a live stream they definitely pulled this clip but there was a girl on there who had like disabilities and like she couldn't really leave the house he took his time he took his sweet time with her and he was gentle and like he was still like he was so respectful and like he made sure like this is still my show but he and he still got the message across and she's and she was able to receive it and she appreciated and she thanked them and it seemed like she got a lot of good stuff out of it so this is not some evil devil that they trying to portray this dude on Twitter or on these news articles like Vivica A. Fox saying this was karma for he said right. about black women. No, you just mad that he said stuff about you that was true. Yeah, like, look, a hit you dog gonna holler. And all this shit. A hit dog gonna holler. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, that that is one of the truest sayings ever. Anytime a bitch get her feelings hurt, they we gonna just start saying on that shit. Let's see, bitch, mad about kept saying Anytime a hit dog gonna holler. A hit dog gonna holler. I'm telling you. <laughs> Wait, they gonna probably say like, "Hey, you trying to say domestic violence against women is good?" So you saying you are gonna hit? So women are bitches. Well, cause first dogs. of all, if you refer to yourself as a dog, then fuck it. That's Man, on I'm you. I'm gonna say you listen to rappers. I if call you, you all the time. Everybody so like, knows that that saying is so old. You know yeah. that mean if he got under your skin, you're gonna get offended, and you're Bro. gonna be the first one to say something. Bro. They, they took they took the fucking a OK you know the fucking three finger yeah. thing and said that's white power. So it's a white these supremacy. Do, these dumb symbol. fucks don't got no limit to what the shit they put out their ass. Like I said, they they get triggered and just they find anything that they can grasp onto and mm-hmm. just become a victim. It's like the victim yeah. Olympics at its all time high. That's why I'm like I'm not even gonna give them like the time day to like I don't know give them a bill for the down anymore because they know what they're doing. They're of not course, stupid. Of course. They, they want us to treat them like respect or like adults. Okay, I don't expect the fucking adult to act like a dumbass. I'm gonna treat Child. you like an adult, right? So I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna treat you like a dumb. I'm gonna talk to you like an adult. Because if it would flip and I would somehow did something wrong, you would be on my ass until exactly. I can't do anything more in my life. You're gonna make sure I'm in jail. You're gonna make sure yeah. my career is ruined. Exactly. Everything. I won't even take it that far. Exactly. I'm just gonna talk just gonna shit to you. How you, stupid right. you are. Exactly. I'm gonna check you, but I'm not gonna make. I'm not gonna let you get fired. I know you to make your money, but yeah. Y'all just when a, when a lot of these women get mad, they going for blood. They got nothing. They don't got they no man to cook yeah, for. They, they got no kids to take care of. They're gonna rumors. They're mm-hmm. gonna make edits. They're gonna they're gonna celebrate the demise of you just because they have nothing better to do with their life. Yeah. And I know it's not all the women because you, you can tell it was a lot of women he helped. A lot of women. Yeah. Were, a lot of women were responding to the women that were saying foul stuff about him and you know letting it be known. A lot of y'all women are evil. You would never find a man. So yeah. I salute those women. 100%. Yeah, for real. it's not all black women for sure. Because the ones who actually wanted the help, they actually they actually got on there and actually listened to the live streams instead of mm-hmm. finding shock jock clips to just look at <laughs> yeah. and get mad at. Yeah. Just sitting in your little corner, just, you can't stand this nigga. Like, of course you can't, because you're doing it on purpose. Exactly. Because yeah, you don't want to do it no Hour to two hour live streams talking about, you know, certain events that happened that shaped the black image. Yeah, you know, such as movies and all types of films. That was his best work. Not when he was talking about women, when he was just right. monologuing and teaching shit. Yeah. That's what I loved about his live stream the most. The monologues in the first 30, mm-hmm. 45 minutes, that was the golden time for me. And his response to certain clips, like he, he, yeah. he pieced it together real nice. And yeah. it was crazy that he was a he was a one man show, whether it was the cameras, the yeah. IG, the everything he did in his own. At 50, what, 53, 56 or something like yeah. that, around that range. Mid-50s, yeah. He, he learned was... all that video audit, editing shit. All the, he had all them cameras, all that shit set up. And he did all that while being well-dressed, smelling nice, groomed, and everything. And, you, and he had his businesses, too. How could you even hate on that? Yeah, exactly. Like, this is a black man that worked his ass off trying to help the black community. Mm-hmm. But when Derrick Jackson suit. does it, we and support then, And then him. he becomes a flat-out hypocrite, cheats on his wife, Nigga still tries to sell you his book while doing so. <laughs> <laughs> I just showed you he don't give a fuck. For real, it's been about one he thing. He know how to make his jump. bread. Yeah. He, he they got they got literally have videos of him in the old churches. Like you know how they people be fainting and shit and somebody uh, catching catch a whole spirit. They literally got Derek Jackson on there catching one of these motherfuckers. And I'm like, wow. And y'all it's, still fall for it's it. It's like a comedy. Like it, it, it even it was like, is this real? Like it's so crazy that this comes out the same time. It almost it's like this is it's like this is it's God crazy. almost. <laughs> it's like and women still support it because they don't care. They yeah. It's only between the ears. They can see it with their own eyes. Mm-hmm. They don't hear it between their ears. They they don't they don't really care. And some of these women say like, why would you listen to Kevin Samuels? He had like a divorce or two, and I'm like, okay. But he's saying, why would we want to date you? You have two kids from two different fathers. Right. Which is worse. This man a got man, money. A man who tried twice and, and just didn't fail. Yeah. Like, or a woman who produced two two different children by two different men. Mm-hmm. And now you're saying you want a third one to join you and your little crew. 
if he never got married, they would just say he don't know what he's talking about. He never been in a relationship like that. So no matter what the fuck he does, they gonna nitpick it unless he says exactly what they want him to say. Right. It's not. It's not a honest like discussion. Yeah, it's it's disingenuous as fuck. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. You can you can see it just the arguments they make. Yeah. He spent his whole career bashing women. That's how I know you don't watch it. <laughs> All you gotta <laughs> you, do is scroll up a little all bit. All you have to do is literally watch just watch one live stream. Watch For one. Real. He don't spend the majority of his time bashing women. Exactly. If you go to the oldest, to the newest, you're gonna see videos and videos and videos of there's men, 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 men. We talk about how we belong at the table. Yeah, exa- yeah. We shouldn't be leaving ourselves out just because oh we think we 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 only see like oh we're the only black person there so what you belong there yeah exactly like, don't let it don't let it affect you just keep going exactly you may be at the top one day but i feel like he inspired a lot of men to just work even harder now yeah. that he's passed mm-hmm. definitely me yeah but i know a lot of people that definitely put a battery in their back yeah it just sucks that he had to leave because i heard it was so much more bigger things going on yeah, it's supposed to be in a show tonight. Yeah, Atlanta. Atlanta. You, did you see the clip? No, nah, I didn't see it. But that shit was funny. <laughs> that shit was funny. It's, it's probably gonna be good. Oh, I'm definitely gonna tune in. He was in the future video, even though I'm really not a fan of future. He was yeah. still making moves in the area to where he was gonna. He he was becoming main. Well, I think he was mainstream. But you got people yeah. from other countries telling you how much he meant to them. And talk about and people on talk shows like bringing him up and stuff like right. that. Like he. If he was saying bullshit, he would not got any type of follower or any press. Type of follower because like, come on. Even when Derek Jackson cheated on his wife, it didn't blow up as big as Kevin Samuels. Yeah, exactly. Because a lot of people knew it's, Derek Jackson is pandering. You yeah, see exactly. his videos of him in his car. It's always about what the men did wrong. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't never <laughs> about what the woman did. But I think a lot of these dudes understand that women spend the most money. Yeah. In, I think in America and probably in other countries too. Mm-hmm. So he realized, oh, okay, yeah, this is definitely my market. And that's the problem with what Cam, well, not problem with what Cam Samuel was saying, Kevin Samuels was saying, but the woman and the consumerism, one of these high value men, or men that are certain, uh, like multi millionaire or four hundred thousand dollars a year, because they just want to buy shit, and they just want to go it. and take trips. They don't want to do nothing else. They I've just never want... heard a woman say, "I want a man with money so we can put our money together." Yeah, it's exactly. always because I want to travel. I want to this. Yeah, oh, he's gonna pay for all of that. And then what are you gonna pay for? Just your bags? Just to your brand new phone and all that's like why this is why Kevin used to always explain to y'all a man don't care about your money mm-hmm. you'd be making the exact same amount as a man and because you have a poor attitude a poor disposition you don't cook you don't clean he will get a girl who work at fucking family dollar who got a family yeah. who just who just needed a job just to you know help her mama with the bills mm-hmm. but she's submissive and she's ready to find a husband yeah, man, he gonna see, man he gonna snatch us so quick they so fem- like those women like that are feminine. They're not aggressive, masculine. They owe something though. Like they'll a like push to be hard. around. Yeah, it's like they won't get up in your face or rat their hand at you and they get upset or try to like bow up to you or something like that. Like no man wants to deal with that. And if she's making money, she's making money for the family. It's not just about her. Yeah, and she's just looking to spend like, it. That's what a lot. Our tr- the trouble in our generation. Yeah, a lot of women work and they're getting all these degrees, but. A lot of them not looking for a man to spend it on with, not just spend on him. They not a lot of women not even not even trying to combine their money with a man. Yeah, they're just trying to know this is my money, this is your money. You're going to spend your money on me. I'm going to spend my money on me, <laughs> and that's it. That's how that's how this marriage is going. And it's like, and why would I sign up for that? Most men aren't signing up for that. Shit. I don't like. Why? Like, do we think we're so desperate to get with you that we? You just one girl, and you're yeah, dumb as fuck. So you, why would? That, that but Instagram some dudes would do it. Some dudes will do it. I don't think most women even care about what, how what the man feels. I don't yeah, even they think don't. they think that through. Like, damn, how, no. would a man really want to? Yeah, he would. I don't care. Yeah, he will because I say he will. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally. I feel like how they process it. Like, yeah, this will work out with me before I because I wanted to, and if the shit doesn't, you know, she can just blame it on the person and move on to the next guy. Yeah, exactly. Because I've seen it. I know women who literally went to school with them. They got dudes sending them money left and right. And they're not going to stop mm-hmm. until it stops. Until the dudes get tired. Like, they're not going to. Well, they, they may get tired just because they realize, you know, they're approaching that. They Eventually, they're going to get to their early 30s. But right now, in their early 20s, they're not stopping that shit. They need something to eat. They got somebody hit up for that. They want something from the mall. They got somebody for that. They got a lot of people they're entertaining, but they're not, they it's literally just entertaining. It ain't no committed relationship. It's none of that. 
that's that's the hot girl summer living your best life because you can pick and choose mm-hmm. which dude you want to use at a time you want to use one dude for some food for one night right. and you use a different dude to take you out to fucking puerto rico or some shit mm-hmm. like they, they, they're playing the game but then they think there's no consequences to the game and i feel like they feel like there's no end to the game like you think yeah. i can do <laughs> yeah. this forever <laughs> and i think com- the the only fans conversation was well kevin simmons had i think it was on like a fresh and fit podcast mm-hmm. he was trying to let them know like y'all not going to look like this forever and they're yeah. literally just trying to argue him down like oh you can you can do this for life you can do this for of course dumb as hell one who was arguing him already got a baby yeah. it's like man y'all are literally Damn, setting y'all stuff up for kid. destruction it is like, like a lot of these photos. Like I know weirdos, bro. Like Reddit is a, is it's a, forever. Is a, it's, it's forever. They literally have OnlyFans photos strictly yeah. put on Reddit. Like, yeah. hey, 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 I got, I did this for the boys. Y'all ain't gonna yeah. pay for it. I'm like, <laughs> wow. And you literally have somebody's entire OnlyFans thread on there. I'm like, these dudes are dedicated. Like they literally have entire catalogs of these women. I'm like, y'all realize y'all just this stuff is gonna be here forever. Yeah, or it's something funny. They'll take those photos from OnlyFans, from multiple different girls. We package them in a folder and resell that shit and to our dudes themselves. It. So like, y- you really don't have. You're not having no long term security doing this. Yeah, because I feel like a lot of women see what happened to like the uh, Catch Me Outside girl, Bad Baby. I think she made like fifty million, which I just I just want to snap the well, shit out you. Half, half the reason why she made so much because the autumn niggas are there. They're weak. B- b- they're borderline pedos. Yeah, they're because weak. Because they was waiting for when she was 15, 16. She literally just, t- I think she's 19 now, and she's literally a, a multi-millionaire. The day she turned 18, niggas was like, finally, I've been waiting for it. Yeah, she made, I think she made six figures. Yeah, the, the first, like, within like hours, she Matter made a fuck ton of money. She on made, the I think she made a couple million. Yeah, she she had a lot. Of, yeah, she she, got she a had lot. a lot, and it just shows you like how... It should it should, it should be easy for us because it's a lot of weak men out here. But the women like the weak men. Yeah. They like them because they realize they can come up off of them. Yeah, and like the them men, to a certain degree though. Right. And they the, won't date them seriously. Yeah, of course not. They'll just they'll just use their resources and shit. But they will never take them like seriously. Yeah, it's just it reminds me of, like the guys who used to always be around the girls who who handle their dirty work, like fighting for the women and all that. But she would never give him a time of day. Yeah. He get his hug every day. <laughs> I feel like I'm telling you, man. Like, I used to see this stuff in school all the time. Like he's willing to die for this woman. The most he'll get is a hug. Yeah, she'll never. Maybe, maybe a kiss. kiss on the cheek. Yeah. And this dude is ready to go to war for something he's not even fucked yet. But she'll fuck a football player. Yes, quick. literally, fuck your teammate, big. Because she oh. know. Oh, he's a starter. <laughs> You're on the bench. <laughs> so he gonna get that play on Friday, and it's like that should that showed me right there. A lot of women are about status. Yeah. It's women who I know don't know shit about football. But just because you are a football player, man, these girls will worship the ground you walk on. Mm-hmm. It's because you got that status. But a lot of dudes don't, they don't learn that until later down the line until they had to deal with a few women. Yeah, and they fuck up a few times. Hopefully, don't get any pregnant. But, you know, play that simpish role where you're like, you're more submissive and she more dominant. And you really can't speak your voice out because you don't have the confidence to back it up mm-hmm. or just walk or, away from her. Or, like, even in my situation, I was just, I was focused on pussy the whole time. I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna just ignore how she's talking to me because. <laughs> <laughs> trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it in tonight, so I'm gonna just let it ride. Yeah, exactly. And you have people even even worse situations. You giving a girl money because you think that's gonna please her. Like, yeah, yeah if we're in the moment, you done got her some DoorDash or some Grubhub. Yeah. Now she wants some boots. Now she want new makeup. Now she want this. Now she want that. You about to go broke? Hell yeah. Trying to please a woman who has done nothing for you, probably but give you sex. And there's no limits to the the ends men will reach to get sex because mm-hmm. me and my girl watch a show called Love After Lockup. These bitches in jail, busted as fuck, get these niggas to pay tens of thousands mm-hmm. of dollars before they even out of prison. Yep. What the fuck you spend tens of thousands of dollars on this woman and she's still locked up? And these shows you these are dudes who never probably even touched a coochie before. Or if they did, it's pity pussy. Yeah, it was literally probably years ago. Yeah. And you had to pay damn near a stack for it. But there's a black dude on there. I gotta show you that nigga, boy. He is. I know you know what you're talking about with the white girl. Yeah, you yeah, seen yeah, it? Yeah, that show you was... already? No, I just seen clips. I was oh, okay. on the internet, man. He's you... begging on his knees. Yeah, his that's, what I, that's what I wanted to show. That I'm nigga like, like please, bro, baby, yes. come on. And these are the types just... of men Kevin Samuels even tell women to avoid. Yeah. These are the dudes who literally will have nothing else to give but their wallet. Mm-hmm. They, if something was to happen in the fight, they can't protect you. Yeah, they probably don't even have a firearm. No leadership. No muscle to protect you. Yeah. No, no type of leadership. They just have money. Yeah, exactly. And it's like a lot of y'all think just because a man has money that that just trumps character, 
personality, provision, protection, and y'all think that's just the end all be all because mm-hmm. he can get you shit. Yeah, exactly. He can satisfy like your kid like need for objects over and right. over. Just putting shiny shit in front of your face. Is that yeah, exactly. Just dangling, hypnotize you for a little while to keep you around. But that dude never getting sex. And then they make it even worse. The dudes who do that, who do get sex, they're not gonna take care of that damn child. They just want yeah. the sex. They got the money to waste. Mm-hmm. They can be like, yeah, get this necklace. I got ten thousand more dollars. I'm not tripping. Like the the real high value men. Yeah. They going to bust them guts because they got it. They can do that to 20 other women yeah. in the same week. Mm-hmm. So this, it's just expendable to them. So these women, like I said, they develop appetite. Well, I only date this type of man now. Yeah, because they, they feel like that's what they deserve. Yeah, right. Anything like, else would be lesser of them. Little mama, you were being used. Exactly. <laughs> like, a lot of y'all don't understand that y'all were being used. Yeah, this dude trying to just fuck you. He trying to actually take a relationship for some other reason. I don't know why. Oh, just recently, probably the last three years, I've been hearing "fly me out." Like, yeah, what? for real. That's fly that you, influencer like, why are bullshit. You even, why are you even talking to a man who lives in another state? Like, why? Why is that the first thing on your mind as soon as you money. see his page? Fly me out. They see all that money. See some jewelry and a nice mm-hmm. car. And he's sliding your DMs because he's seen ass and titties. Trust me, I know mm-hmm. how it works. Ain't finna fuck you and send you back home. Right? <laughs> they have the money to do this, and then you have, like I said, you got the weak men. Who don't be having the money like that, but they gonna get yep. the money anyway. Yeah, that nigga made like forty thousand dollars and spent thirty thousand dollars on that white girl, and That's he did that shit shame. before too. He ain't learned shit. That's it. See, so, sometimes shame. these niggas do it to themselves. Exactly. And those are the men that Kevin Samuels talked about. Yeah. Because it's like these men, they're weak. They don't. They don't mm-hmm. think. <laughs> they just don't. <laughs> these type of men who just they're just looking for. They are pretty much thinking like the women. You just looking for love. You want to be loved so bad. You'll be used for it. And then they get angry and bitter. There was one dude years ago who said, women are my enemy on and the Kevin show. Kevin snapped on him. I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Like, your pocketbook, your like, wallet is yeah, enemy. Yeah, he was like, what? your enemy? He was like, first of all, nigga, what do you do for a living? I think, what didn't he? He Uber. I think he Uber think or he some shit. Uber and he was like a mu- musician. Yeah, like. It's like, dude, you are in no position to be worried, even worried about women. Yeah, for real. My women are your enemy. No, your lifestyle is your enemy. Yeah. You broke. You're not productive. I'm pretty sure he was overweight. Yeah, overweight. Like, come on, man. You got the- You're an incel. Exactly. You're and a bitter incel. Those are the videos that didn't really go viral because they weren't about women. Yeah, exactly. But the minute he did the same thing to a woman, oh, it was like Armageddon. <laughs> exactly. He's the worst person Armageddon. in the world. And he wants all women to die and be and die alone. All women die alone unless you got a size one dress. Right. If you actually listen to his message, you you know he spoke. Mm-hmm. If you didn't, oh well, it's your fault. Yeah. He's going now. You can even go back and take a look at his videos because they're not going nowhere. Yeah, exactly. He's probably just going to amp up and make a lot more people review his videos even more. That's the thing, too. With him gone, you can you can now, uh, what's the word, like cover them. and do. I, I think you can like cover oh, yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, you definitely Because he can't can. actually you can't, copy strike yeah, it. Yeah, you can't copyright strike you. So yeah. You can post good or bad, but it's going to be a lot more good now that he's gone. He's going to be like the black, oh, he's going to be like Patrice O'Neal on the Black Phillips show. Yeah, I literally, was, I was literally talking to my brother about that, how I feel like black men, we do need to focus more on our health because we have a lot of pioneers who died young. Yeah, imagine the Patrice O'Neal, O'Neal was around. The Richard Pryors, the yeah. Kevin Samuels is like, Imagine if we had these people today were like 70, 80 years old. Dropping that still wisdom. Still dropping wisdom at such an old age. Yeah. And then just passing it down. Because mm-hmm. don't get me wrong. I think a lot of what Kevin Samuels taught is definitely going to be passed down. Yeah. I just feel like it could have lasted a lot longer if he would have yeah. kept his health in check. And he could have found his uh, message more. And, and like right. just He probably would have been back to men for a little while, too. He and honestly, I feel like he probably would have even... We probably would have ended up seeing him more on the big screen. Like yeah. on... Maybe on like streaming show? services, yeah, more like, like a that. see him like on a Hulu or a Netflix, just having his own little talk show. Yeah, whether it be about style, men's fragrances, men's everything, this men's improvement in general. Oh, I'm yeah, pretty that, sure he could have. That, that would have been a popular show, man. men's improvement. Exactly. Come on, man. But he also had something for the women because nobody else was talking like this. Mm-hmm. Nobody. The only time you ever heard somebody talk like that was in the barbershop. Yeah, in the barbershop, it wasn't as eloquent as him. It was all these motherfucker hoes. Know what I'm saying? Like it was, it was, it was true, but it was so much cussing in it, so you can never really get the full message. Yeah. So it was more like shits and giggles. And the only one after before him was like we said Patrice O'Neal, but he that was like 2005. Exactly. That was more early. So and he was a comedian. Yeah, exactly. But this was the first man that we had like a serious black man actually talk to women how most men have wanted to, but they're too scared. 
or they just didn't didn't really know what to say. Yeah. And now they found somebody who can say it in that way. Mm-hmm. And I feel like he just made a huge impact on the world. Yeah, this podcast honestly wouldn't exist if it wasn't for him. At all. Yeah, because, I don't know, he helped really influence the content. I would say Joe Rogan helped influence like, the idea of a podcast, but the stuff we're talking about is really related to like him, Patrice O'Neill, and stuff right. like that. Just, and I think he inspired a lot of black men in general just because we don't see... Only time we see black men on the big screen is if we're entertained... Entertainers are athletes. Yeah, exactly. And we're never going to say anything against the majority, the green. majority of black men, when we are professions, we will not be entertainers or athletes. Yeah. So just so just to see a man come on there with a different attire rather than fucking golds yeah. and a fucking wife beater yeah. that's talking about degrading women and all that shit, it was a breath of fresh air. So yeah, for real. Shit, I don't care what nobody say, nigga. Salute to that man. For real. He meant Rest a lot to a lot of people. Hell yeah, there's no shame in that. Not at all. And to the people who even had the audacity to say, oh, I feel indifferent. You a piece of shit. Because you didn't even have to say that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, not, but just minus the, minus the people who were outright just rude. So the people who just came up there just to have, oh, I didn't hate him, but I didn't like him. You a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because you just wanted attention. Yeah, exactly. It just shows you, that, shows you that you probably did have a liking for him, but you don't want to be disliked by your followers. Yeah, that's the So thing. you just had to tweet anything just to get your 15 seconds of fame. Yeah, they're so cowardly. They, they can't choose a side. All right. Oh, I don't really care if he died. Well, then, why bitch, the if you didn't you care, treat? why are you tweeting about yeah, it? You like idiot. So it's like, yeah, it just shows you how he made an impact everywhere. Yeah, exactly. But I think it's going to be definitely more people to come in and tr- to not necessarily take his place, but try to fill those little small voids yeah. that he that he had in in his uh streams. There's going to be multiple mini Kevin Samuels right. in the future. And he met with Consecrate like Media Toko Reviews. Mm-hmm. And um, the lead attorney. Yeah, the lead attorney. And I can't remember his uh, um Dennis name. Sperling. Yeah, Dennis Sperling. That's what I was thinking he got, of. He got some real good people behind him taking up for him yeah, after exactly. his death. And I'm glad he did it. He did it almost. He did it right before he died. It almost felt like ceremonious. Like right. he... He probably didn't know, but like he, um, it was like good timing to help get these guys more mm-hmm. rhythm and knowledge and get their game up too. Right, and I heard he's supposed to have like a funeral showing tomorrow. Oh, for real? I can't remember what time, but I'm probably I'm gonna try to tune into it. Yeah, if I could find out, if you find out what time, you can uh send it to me. Yeah, we'll also I'm gonna also try to put in the link to what time it's gonna be on. Oh yeah. Well, yes, yeah, man. That's all I got to say. And yeah, uh, same, yeah. shit, long live. The Godfather. Yeah. Rest in peace. All right. This your boy Ram. And your boy Logos. And we out.